would like to welcome all back to Wario, Master of Disguise. And then you cross your arms, as I said before. I think there's an audio balance issue. Nope. Nope. Dur -dur -dur -dur. Yay! Today we fight my favorite boss in terms of appearance. For some reason there is no fan art of this adorable flower. We have arrived. The mysterious temple! Or ruins. Yeah, it seems to... Oh, look at that! The foresty background has all the swaying in the tree. That's nice. This area is kind of... Goof. Uh, it has a... It's... Could have been better. From a design point, it could have been better. Because you're primarily in the upper area to do uh, one thing and then you're down there. And he's like, oh man, look, it's waterfall. It's super cool. I guess you're supposed to be taking care of. You're supposed to be cleaning up that waterfall. Oh my god, I have a... Why do I have that guy on my team if I can't even use him? I am playing a snappy little video game. Puddles and Dragon Sea. And we're just gonna let these guys talk because they're like, oh man, look at this video game that's happening. I do think, I do like it, the fact that he's like, oh man, waterfalls are pretty, aren't they? And he says again, as if he's been here before, I mean, whatever. I mean, uh, I'm gonna bitch. Go, go, Wario. And now the waterfalls are my other ear. Sweet deal, Ruby Bleal. Does it always start you with the same layout? It does feel like it. That'd be fucking retarded if it did. See, so yeah, I could use those plant enemies. They are the staple of the area. I do pretty well on the sapphire blocks this time. Get a pretty decent score on those. So yeah, fire works best against them, although the, the yellow ones reproduce so quickly that it's probably better to do something else. Just uh, to bash them. Bash them and smash them and TEAR THEM TO PIECES! I always like that tune. Yeah, uh, Hidden Switch. You can kind of see it poking out from the background every once in a while, but... Otherwise, it's kind of... you gotta, gotta have an eye for it. And a nose. I won't tell. I'm feeling goofy today, mostly because I'm tired, but I'm not too tired. I managed to get some work done, and generally it was a good day. That reminds me, need to do some... I need to turn in some papers. Um, what's it called again? Damn it, I think it's called... There we go. Jesus Christ, you don't have to tell me, woman. Just log me in! No? I don't know why, I just always get my password right. So yeah, yeah, look at that. I think that that's the only breakable wall that does that. There's a lot of stuff in this area that feels like they wanted to do more with it, but they didn't. And on the other hand, keep it nice and unique, nice and fresh. Gotta declare my hours! Pulling back up some grass. I don't know what the hell that means. Money, money, money! Money, money, money! I can't. I need to do this right now. And <laughs> I can't. Oh well. Wow. Wow, they've been charging me the full hour? They've only been here like. Oh man. That's. 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 Like, I don't pay for any of this, but that's. That's low. They were here for like 50 minutes sometimes, and they're charging me for the full hour. Jesus Christ, man. Yes, it has a. It has a paper. Um. What is this area again? I think it's... Um, 
this one is April. So that is um, 0, 01, and then it's 0, 04, and then 2015, 0, no, 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 30, right? Yeah, that's 30. I'm old enough to do my own papers. Also, I fail a minigame this time, and I'm, like, legit about it. Like I said, it's kind of hard. Also, um, I messed around with the touchpad settings, and it didn't work out at first, so it's kind of kind of goofy. <laughs> it's like, it's all right. Now I've got to enter the number. I can just copy-paste that. Yay! That helped. Now I can insert the date. Whoever made this needs to know that you can automatically have someone just go somewhere else. Okay, let's see. I have 720 hours. How much is that? Oh my fucking god, that's going to be awful. You see, the way that this thing works is you have to enter it in decimal points. So if it's like a 730, you have to enter 7.5. Hours don't translate well to decimal. This is going to be like, what, um, 7.333333 recurring? I can't enter recurring, I'm sorry. Whoa, oh no, it's, oh god, it's several different hours! All this stupid frickin' frick frack. No, wait, it's all the same. Oh. I'm so pissed right now. Come on, Wario. You've got to block the waterfall in order to fight the boss. That it doesn't go well. Like, I don't die. It wasn't as bad as the Capaccio fight. But it still didn't go as spindapular as it should have. I'm actually alright with this uh, level's music. The, the weird jingly jangles. No travel expenses... Nope. That should be the full ship. Oh my god. It, it requires me to use a comma, because here in the Netherlands we use commas for decimal points. And it just... No. What? Oh my god. You can only answer two decimal points! Well, I'm sorry, but it's 3.3... I'm gonna answer... I'm gonna answer four. Just fuck it. If you're not gonna make a system that properly, god damn it! I need to put in a camera. Whoever made this is not the kind of person who will use this. And trust me when I say, this is why you have tests. Do 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 do. Well, what do I? What am I gonna select? Just two to my documents. I should not be talking about this when I'm doing this, but hey. I'm sitting here for a while, so excuse me. Like, you can speed this stuff up, you know? Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I'm done. And so I did some administrative paperwork on the internet. So I'm completely done. Yay. Well then, let's look at the video. Look at all this progress being made. You know, if you think about it, you can actually do this level in one fell swoop. And it would be a lot of hassle. You just go vibbity vabbity voop. Ah, uh, vibbity vabbity voop. That's the way. On oh no! My touch pen! That thing can vanish so quickly. Yeah, take that thorny guy. He doesn't even shoot the thorns in a logical direction, so, um, uh. Gonna have to ask you about what the deal with that is. Oh, uh, ooh, ooh, look at that. Four combo, 1.4. Oh man, I think this is... Yeah, this is the one. This is the big treasure. He's a dog. He does dog things like barking and saying hi to the neighbors. Hi, neighbors! Oh no, I need to clear two more combos. C -c 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 combo breaker. Yeah! Did uh, We'll get to that when we get to that. But that bug... The amount of colors it displays is all colors that RGB, um, is that, uh, uh, 24 bits RGB colors can display. It, it's a funny little reference that 
probably no one ever gets. I have to look it up, so... <clears throat> the fact that I have to look it up should tell you enough about that. Oh, man, I hate that guy. They can use all that shit. Think you're hot stuff, don't you? Don't you, baby, don't you? Oh, man. Oh, no. All oh, the hearts. Yeah, you slide that puzzle. Sweet deal, Ruby Bleal. Oh, yeah, water block. That's a lot of experience that I'm going to get. Yeah. Yeah, you beat up that poor plant. He did nothing! This uh, footage has actually been recorded way in advance, uh, because I recorded it before I had to go to my mom's for dinner, so... <clears throat> Bunch of problems! Uh, not, nothing, nothing major. Like, nothing you have to concern yourself with. I hate it when they do first strike. It's such bullshit when they do that. Especially in the Mario Bros. because you can do nothing. You take massive damage. It's not fair. It's not fair, mama! No, it's also not fair some of these mini games when you don't have a touchscreen. But that's for another chapter. Yay, Cosmic Mastery Gem. Now we have re ricocheting shots. Which is the hot stuff. Oh man. Hit the enemy weak spot for massive damage. Oh man, that's some hell of damage. Oh damn. That that did knock my socks off, by the way. Um Oh no. Oh yeah, super heal, go! Look, it's a statue, and they're like, "You're probably not gonna go down there to, to reach the boss door before this happens." So, I'm kind of, yeah. I guess it's unlikely that you would show up here. And I, I wonder if there's an extended cutscene though. Like, they're, they're like, "Oh man, we should probably clog this up if we want to accomplish our mission objective." I like how he thinks source is a big word. And again, in context, it's kind of big. Sweet. Look at all those levels. Super Leaf! I'm gonna turn down the brightness a bit. There we go. Oh man, I feel hard at this one. I know what it is! Today, uh, with touchpad, I just couldn't do it right. Oh yeah, wallet man. Coin coffins, those are worth a lot of experience. I don't know what it is, I'm just wiggling and waggling all over the place. Maybe it's the fatigue. Fuck you about the diagonals, those things are impossible to pull off. Like you wouldn't say that I'm pretty nimble with the touch with the Nintendo uh, touchpad, but. Can I transform? Actually, oh wow! Ooh, I can upgrade my BB. But I can only make him a goon? Change fire to the wood orbs? There's a great little. Kinda like that one though. I don't know, that dark light seems like a good. Oh man. Oh my god, look at that damage! Oh, this is so good! I want that! I'm not gonna go for that. Oh, screw you. Breaking platforms! If you fall down, you have to go all the way around again. It's kind of stupid, but hey. What, what do you want from me, man? I can't help you with that. Anyway, let's go and metamutate people. Into something fierce. I probably should upgrade my uh, Koopa, though, because I'm using, using that Koopa a lot. Although, on the other hand, I do like... Like, I should upgrade my party leaders at some point. Then again, I really... Nah, my cheap cheap is not going to get the maximum out of that. He's going to have, like, a level... He's going to be like, no, 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 not, not enough levels. No, okay, um, I'm going to go for him. Then we're going to stuff his face with a couple of dudes.
Ugh, I'm not gonna fiddle around with that. It's not even that hard. So yeah, um, they use the droplets in, a, in an interesting manner by making you race to the finish. Oh sweet! I got a stat increase. Oh man, you are becoming a tough nut to crack. I'm doing this probably under leveled because some attacks are instantly killing me, but hey, whatever. It just means I've got to get good. It's always important to get good. That's what my papa always used to say. You either get good or you get out of here! No, daddy, no! Don't send him away! I love him! No, you don't. You told him to fuck off last Tuesday. Wah, wah. I probably want my Banzai Bill, my Bullet Bill and Party, yo! He kicks ass. He does so much damage when I get him off, and considering the Boom Boom is light, it's gonna be like. Ugh! But who to take as my mate, as my partner? Hmm. <sighs> it's a tough call, tough call. I'll probably, I'll go for him. Why not? Yo, yo! Wario in the house, making platforms fall so we can climb up. Oh, great, we start with the grass. Eating myself some pizza! Getting back up the grass. Oh yeah, that's a good combo. <clears throat> ba ba boom! Oh wow, that guy's a tough nut. That is a nut and a half. A lot, of, very few treasure in this map happens to live up to the treasure that I picked up at the beginning. It's kind of sad to think about. It. It's like, oh man, I got this one super good treasure, and the rest kind of like whatever. Oh, that was a good blue one. Ooh, oh man, he's so tough. What is this deal, man? Oh man, I want to, I want to rewind. I want to rewind and see that because I did it so fast. Oh whatever. I could probably look at it if I really care. In the the rewinds. And the rewinds for tough nuts. Damn it! If I don't get a combo, it's not worth. Oh damn! I'm poisoned too. I wasn't paying attention. Man, that was a good call. Oh, man. Now I'm hurting. I've got to get good. This poison's eating me up. Oh my god. Oh! I hate it when an attack fails. It just feels so weak. You feel like a little baby, and you did nothing, you're just a weak little baby! I'm a baby, and I'm dead. Wow, first enemy, one hit KO! Well, not one hit, I don't know, man, this point, it's not that counts. Come on, Wario. Yeah, you can do all this in one go. We later see a blue fire block that requires the upgraded version of the dragon. I think it's purely there so that you can speedrun this faster. Yeah, you can step in the water and you turn blue. I'm not gonna get to you, fuck that! First enemy continuing is not worth it at all. That means you're not good. And you gotta get good if you wanna succeed like a champ. Okay, so we're dealing with dark and that guy, so I probably wanna put some fire. Oh, I already have fire, but I have water too. That's what kicked me under the the train, so to speak. I guess I'll go for Mario, because that double fire is great. Yay! You hi! Victory has been adjourned. I mean, obtained. Wow, I don't have a lot of fire. I have my fire Koopa, but it ends there. You guys under level though. Come on, fire Maui! -o. Let's go burn him to a crisp and see what this level holds. Because I think that boss levels all oh, they don't have random encounters. Boss levels, it's all set, I think. And yeah, you got to be quick there, or you'll miss your. Uh, I think you can still try to do it with a block, but I don't know if you can do it fat. Oh, great! That's fucking great. At least I have Luigi in my main, because he can do light damage, right? Yeah, he can. Because Mama Luigi's gonna win. Oh my god, he's tough. What is with this area? Ugh. Menace. Oh no. Oh no! 
You know, in the actual game, I get much better drops uh, in terms of like from the top to the bottom. Here, I get so much shit all the time. It's so unfair and unfun. Menace again, what a jerk. Oh, that's harsh. There goes my dark. Oh yeah, that's a good combo. That's a solid one. I don't like the fact that enemies have defense, but you don't. That is the bullshit that I'm gonna call on the bullshit cake. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, again, this, this little area feels a bit off, because why are those blue blocks there? They are never used. They are just there, to remind you that they exist. I know, it just feels kind of weird. Oh man, look at all this. Oh, I need more light. I should just get rid of my Goomba, because that pair of Goomba's good and all and the power, but he's not going to do it. He's not going to cut the cake. I'm just going to get rid of this dark. All this, it's not good. Oh, good! Thank you for the light bind. Oh, I forgot about the fucking dry beetles! Always with the light bind. All we're good for is light bind balls! How about a good old fashioned fuck you? Oh my god, it's so bad! Wario! Why is it so much easier to play with you than. Wah, wah. That sounded terrible. Oh god, this ah! Oh! The drops aren't as good as they need to be. This game is luck dependent. Like, you can get a few good combos off, but considering the fact that you can get bind so easily, it just doesn't work. You have no means of reducing damage other than the skills that take forever to charge. It is incredibly short-sighted. It feels a lot more like an iPhone game than it is... Because the other one feels a lot more balanced. Then again, I haven't gotten that far. I'm still on the second continent, but come on, man. This thing picks up at three. Anyway, that paragoon is out of here. Sure, I want my coverage, but oh. I have nothing else. I have nothing. No place. Oh, but, oh, that makes me so susceptible to light bind. this game. It's so boring, because... Yeah. Although in this this one, I noticed that I didn't get as many, like, uh, round drops as usual. This commentary is terrible, but so far it's just been terrible. Because I just think the game is good enough to stand on its own to the... No, Wario, I'm not going to carry your, your fun little game. Good move, and it still did nothing. Like, what am I supposed to do? What can I do? The funny thing is, the one time it does go right, it always goes so right. It either goes terribly terrible or it goes perfectly perfect. And that just doesn't feel right. It feels awkward and, and kind of off-putting in a sense. And again, I fuck it up again because I'm just so... Mm, I should have gone for fire! Why do I keep doing this to myself? 
And now I'm almost dead. Good. Good good job, me. Cause you can't freaking focus. Can't put your can't put your eyes on the prize, can ya? All you can do is fuck around and and keep just messing it up. Yeah, seesaws. These are kinda fidgety. I think they have several set heights they can drop you at, but that's it. On the plus side, at least I might get good. Oh, why did you... Oh, and now they're going to light bind and I'm going to be useless. I like how both of them do light bind. Why? Why would you do light bind too? Your friend just did it for you. Primitive AI is this. I try my best, but the game requires you to get off-screen combos, which are impossible to predict. Like, you could say, okay, I have, I, I, I used these recently, so logically they're going to drop more of these, but that never works. You could try to set up, I guess, but that doesn't work either. Oh, I'm dead. Can I, can I just say this is World 4? And it's just kicking my ass consistently. This isn't even the heartless, heartless run castle. Oh, we're almost at the end. Wow. I really haven't been paying attention, have I? That having been said... Don't put it that low, you doofus! That's not how seesaws work. At least my commentary is extremely confusing. Like, I need dark in order to get to the ending, but light will get bound. So the best I can do is just focus all on dark. I guess that's the best I can do. I need to put Mario in the main slot, because then he can do the fire damage and the tricks, and then that, because he has fire as auxiliary. Look at this. 10, 12... How am I supposed to... Do you know that in the original Z game, you can use skills like every other turn? What the hell is wrong with this game? There's so many mechanics they threw around that they are distinct games and versions. But when you put them side by side, you can see that the Mario Brothers edition just didn't have the same thought put into it. And it just feels a lot, lot, lot more like someone just fudged it up and didn't give a shit. Well, I'm going to use my partner... I wish you told me how much that toad boosts me. Well, there we are. There's the wish stone piece. Kabloom is orange, then becomes blue, and then becomes red. Don't ask me, okay? If you wonder why I had nothing to say, this place just doesn't have much to say. It feels very generic. The tile set isn't is interesting, but it's sort of all over the place. And honestly, the boss is the most interesting part, because most of the enemies are just like, eh, those are enemies you'd see here. They're overgrown plants. That is incredibly loud. Um, but other than Kabloom, nothing here really pops out. I mean, Sweatmore had the whole sweatpants mechanic. But this, no, it's just nothing. And now he turns blue for no particular reason. I'm just gonna be silent because at some point Kabloom's gonna be like Kabloom, and it's just adorable. Ah, oh, look, he's so cute! And then he goes that very awkward face. Yeah, his primary gimmick is that he spawns a bunch of these dudes. You can kill them for hearts, which means that Kabloom, despite not dealing a lot of damage, heals you way more than he should. At least he has distinct forms, and every form is unique, and it feels fresh. And look, the heart, the, the little health icons at the top went red. It's cute. Here's a fun thing I found out in this video. If if you get hit by that, Kabloom gets hit by the fire and then takes a hurt, which is kind of weird that he gets hurt by his own attack. But hey, who cares? Boss fights. I like how because the, the seesaw is a sprite, it, it breaks the seesaw. Bonk. Good job. You just bonked the guy in the head. I hope you feel proud of yourself. Oh, he's so sad. 
He's such a cute little flower. He tries so hard. He wants to be a daddy flower. He looks so consistent. Like, oh man, I don't want to be here today. I don't want to be here today. I like how the waterfall is shown on the map as a big giant triangle. Because they didn't care. I wonder how late this area was in development, if it was like a rushed level or not, because it feels kind of rushed. I mean, they have this custom floor for Kabloom, but that's it. Bye bye! <laughs> like how he hurt himself. It's so cute! I think I'd one of these, I bought my head on the ceiling. Bonk! At some point, I actually slow down. Okay, so this is a bit of a thing. I wasn't standing properly, and yet it launched me up. I don't get that. Yeah, Kabloom kind of goes from side to side, so it's kind of hard to hit. Oh, Kabloom, you're my little angel. Kabloom also sit up there for a very long time. I mean, like, you have all the time you need in order to do what you need to do. Bye-bye! <laughs> oh, you're such a sad banana. I'm sorry, banana! If you wonder why it's constantly swapping between the... Um, uh, Ardy Wario and the Dragon Wario, it is because it can't tell whatever you should be using one or the other. It wants you to use both, technically. Oh, this is where I'm gonna get the Kabloom, so I'm gonna be quiet. Not yet, though. Because he stands still when he uses that move. Pachoo! Pachoo! <gasps> Here it goes! That just makes me smile. I can't stop smiling because it's so adorable! Consider these jimmies wrestled to the max! Wrestled with cuteness. <gasps> He's gonna go again! You could say that this entire playthrough is specifically so I could get that sound clip. kidding! I would do this entire playthrough just for that sound clip. But the music is on, so you can't hear it. I need to see if you can turn off the music. Let's see. Because if you can, I will go back there, and I will make sure to specifically get that sound bite, because I want that. Whatever I'm going to make a game or something, it's just so adorable! It is the cutesiest thing I've ever heard in my life. Wow, it responds to pressing start on the main menu. That's kind of goofy. Because um, it is touchpad controlled and it really emphasizes touch screen, so why would it respond to start when you're supposed to be holding it with the. the yeah, doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I think in this phase, Plum does not go down because it requires two launches to, to get up there as you need to be. Also, the left side is now completely tainted by Kabloom's presence. Oh my god, you can turn off the background music. I need to go back there and get Kabloom's soundbite. This needs to happen. I'm not kidding. I want that stupid little sound bite. I'll do it when I'm... Like, I'm gonna do a run later where I get all the treasure that I missed. And I will get that. And I will play it at the end of that video constantly. Just all the time. Actually, I'd probably get bored after the third time, even though it's so adorable. It's so precious. Ugh. I think it's about to muck it up, and yeah, I know what I'm doing here. I'm just loafing around, and I'm not doing anything productive. Productive. And here I rewind because I'm like, fuck it. Like, this is the point where I slow down the game because I'm like, fuck it. This is so much easier on the DS itself because you have so much more control. It's kind of hard when you can't actively see where you're touching on the screen. And I think this is the only boss that does this kind of bullshittery the whole time. Um, anyway, when that platform is up, it's kind of hard to get back up on it, it's, and you'll notice that I had failed a couple of times doing it, because it is kind of tough. It requires a lot of timing. Yeah! Could have gotten a better song, Kabloom, but hey. is nothing. I am loud this video. I will make sure to make my audio not too loud. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna pay attention. Ah, oh, look at him bouncing! He's so mad! I'm like, oh, I'm so mad! The big old mad beanie baby. I want a Kabloom plush. Or a beanie baby. 
and I would have put them on my windowsill so it can bleach in the sun. This one's very informative. We've learned much today. Yeah, this level in general is very light on everything. There's some plot. Like, even Count Cannoli comes in at the end specifically to give us a reason to go to the next level. It's so awkward how that works. That is rarely used, which is why I was quiet, so you could hear that. I need to write that down right now. Uh, Lacro's like, leave me alone, I'm, I'm so I'm upset. I'm a big, big, upset beanie baby. Also, you might have noticed that the waterfall under the stage still flows, despite us having shut it down when we went down there. It's kind of weird. It's that part with the river and the jumping on the platforms and the mist in the background. Yeah, this is this is not the strong lot. This is not the strong writing that so far has carried it. It feels very much like someone wrote this together and was like, oh, we have to make him say the one thing and then the thing and the thing. I don't know. Kabloom deserves better. Although, that being said, the upper map does have a very detailed description of what this place apparently looks like. Giving me the idea we were originally going to be on the outside, because that is a lot of detail for something we never get to see. Spill the beanie babies all over the floor. I should have stopped doing that, because now I'm actually paying attention. It took half an hour, but we're 36 minutes in, so um, make your own judgment. Ah, oh, look at that. That scary bug and ember. I like that touch the touchscreen in icons like pow. Oh, so many bubbles in my bu belly. That's a neat trucker. A tow truck too. Try not to explode with luckiness. <laughs> we can't blame it on Kabloom. He's too cute to make no to make you know sh tomfoolery happen. <laughs> this stuff contains elf. Ooh. I like the fact they referenced that. Yep, that is um, all the colors you can make with the 24-bit, 8-bit RGB system. There is actually a chart that shows all those colors, which is kind of neat. I think I missed one there. Should probably go back and check that. As in right now, because I can. Stupid purists. Blast those purists and their purism! Oh no, it's not loading because I haven't selected the ROM yet. Yeah, it even says touch, but it responds to the enter key, which is kind of awkward. Seed weed. I like how it's called a male plant, just in case. Oh, Japan. You're so Japanese. We saw that plan again, but it still tells us that we found it at the uh, Shiver Cave. Anyway, Kabloom! Which has a really nice sprite, because it starts out in the orange form, and then uh, does the red thing. I like how it's ten feet. And it also symbolizes bad cooking! It's so good! Oh my god. We're almost done with the video. Oh, but y'all enjoyed. Probably because I was just screaming over it, being upset at a video game that isn't this video game. So hey, see you next time. Hope y'all enjoyed the end slate, because it looks kind of goofy. Bye bye! You were a lovely audience. And... Oh, he's so concerned and cute! I bet he's concerned about his son's college. What a caring father. <laughs>